Hey, what's up guys? It's Dr. V here with another one of Dr. V's reviews. So today we're gonna to be doing a review of the Mattel Creations Cyclone figure from Masters of the Universe Origins. Uh, obviously, as you can see, uh, it took a little bit of damage in the shipping process, but hey, I don't keep these boxes anyway. Let's open it up and see what we got. All right. And very, very nice. So, just out of the shipper box, he looks great. Man, look at that. That looks absolutely fantastic. I love the uh, dis window display here. You can see his uh, wind effects figure is prominently displayed. Again, great box art as usual. Uh, on the box art, we can see Cyclone fighting some uh, horde troopers and uh, that uh, tree back here with the vulture that's reminiscent of um, of the um, horde what was it called? Yeah, the Fright Zone um, and this is cool it's like a, a, a horde trooper uh, I don't know, container it looks like a, a, a barn on um, oh, what was the name of hordes? Uh, the hordes planet not Etheria well I know that's where the Great Rebellion was from. If you guys remember what the name of the Horde's base or planet was, uh, drop it down in the comments for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, taking a look at the side art. Um, looks like we have just more busted up Horde troopers on the back here. Yep, sure enough, there's the snake from the Fright Zone and Hordak looming in the back. So, uh, and then there's Moss Man. He's coming up to help the Cyclone. And on this side, just another shot of that Fright Zone snake. All right, let's, uh, let's open them up and, and see what we got. All right, so opening up the flaps, it does give us uh, some instructions on his uh, twisting feature. So it looks like uh, you just pull up the torso and spin it with your thumb and then you can put the torso back down and pose him like a normal action figure. Looks pretty good. All right, internal box contents. Uh, we have the figure on a blister tray. Uh, we see his um, wind effects here, shield, and the figure itself. Taking this away uh, is the uh, mini comic, The Fog of War. It's gonna be a pretty good read and we see Lord Grasp there. Um, I'm really hoping to get my hands on uh, a Lord Grasp and a Terror figure, uh, but like most people, I was unsuccessful getting any during uh, that Walmart um, collector con thing. Um, leave me a, a post down below if you were actually successful in getting any of those uh, Motu figures on, uh, on Walmart's website during collector con because I don't think anybody was. I think flip war got all the all the stock. All right, so we'll open up his little red circle thing, which uh, we'll take a look at that in just a minute. Looking back at the figure here, we'll talk about his wind effects. Oh, they're really nice, they're translucent. Um, I have a little bit of flex, so I don't think these will become brittle over time or, or break or crack. They are articulated and it looks like, you know, they will go into the uh, the hands for the figures quite nicely. I saw somebody post them on his feet and I thought that looked really cool. So I may end up just uh, putting the wind effects on his feet. Uh, then we'll take out a shield. Looks very nice. Kind of standard Motu Origin shield there, and we'll cycle. All right, packaging trash. All right, so taking a look at the figure, just straight out the box, he looks really, really good. Um, let me see if I can get a little bit of better lighting here. Let's see here. Come on, there we go. Focusing, very nice. All right, there we go. Let's lighten that up. Hey, that looks better. Not so dark. But yeah, I mean, just straight out of the, the box, 
His helmet is super cool. Dig that. Um, face sculpt looks actually really good. The paint work on mine turned out pretty good. I mean, I think there's a little bit of uh, discrepancy in the in the eyes there, but yeah, let's zoom in. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I mean, I don't expect perfection. I mean, overall it looks really good. Uh, his shoulders do go out full 90 degrees there. He does have these additional pieces on his arms, which are a nice touch. Um, so we can get some pretty good abduction. Oh. Let's see here, all right. Should, should this arm wants to pop out a lot, so I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I may just leave them like that. This one, yeah, much better. Not having any premature dislocations there. Uh, the elbow fully articulates and twists like that. Uh, hand does have wrist articulation there. You can do full rotation. Let's check the elbow on this side. And yep, flexes to just shy of 90 degrees. I'm sure if we rotated it, we can get pretty close to 90. And again, hands kind of can flex and extend, no problem, with full rotation. I'm liking these uh, these gauntlets. These are actually sculpted on and are not a removable piece. Obviously, his lenticular sticker is there. Uh, it shows kind of a radar uh, screen. I'll try and get it to do its thing on camera with uh, some planets in the background. And I think it came out actually really, really nice. Uh, this torso is a new sculpt. The forearms are a new sculpt. Obviously the head, uh, at least the, the helmet is a new sculpt. I don't know if this is like a generic kind of E-Man or other Motu character head with a different uh, helmet. Um, the belt appears brand new. The trunks also appear brand new. Um, this piece I heard does come off pretty easily. Yep. So do have a hole there. Um, but yeah, I mean, looks like you can just put it on, back on pretty easily. And again, the trunks are new. Uh, thighs look to be reused. A half of the leg looks to be reused. The boots do appear new. There's rotation there. And then there's uh, rocker ankles, forward and backwards. All right, so let's put this guy together, see what we can come up with. Okay, we're back. So I attached the circle component to his um, costume onto his back. I think it looks best, like if it's static like that, I think that's kind of cool, kind of gives it a, a Vitruvian man look. And I really like that. Um, it is a little bit harder to use it if you want to do the spinning feature can easily kind of pop him up like that and then use this to make him spin which actually that's not too bad um, I do like just put him back down I do like it up here also this, this also looks pretty good and you can kind of move this down here that's that's kind of a neat look now again we'll pop his torso straight up and then start the spinning effect. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I went ahead and we're gonna just keep this at the bottom. I like that one best. Put it right in there. I think that looks good. And then um, let's let's see what he what he looks like with his uh, wind effects in his hands. Okay, so generally speaking, I mean he looks pretty cool with them on his hands. And I have him kind of have his torso popped up so we can see what he looks like with that spinning feature. All right, so not bad. I dig that. I get what they're uh, trying to achieve. I remember Cyclone from the vintage cartoon, and uh, if I remember correctly, he would like spin his arms in circles, and I think that's what they're, they're trying to go for to get that wind effect. 
uh, but like I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video, I wanted to see what he would look like with the wind effects on the bottom of his feet. So let's, let's take a look at that. All right, so here he is with the wind effects coming off of his feet, and I do kind of like this. It makes him look a lot you know, taller, bigger, more imposing. Uh, I think overall this is probably how I'm going to display him. Um, he came out really great, actually. Um, I really dig this figure, so yeah, kudos to the Mattel Creations team. They did a great job on uh, recreating a Origin-style uh, Cyclone. Um, I would do a comparison time, but I don't have a vintage Cyclone, and I do not have a Classics Cyclone. And uh, the Masterverse Cyclone is not readily available at retail just yet. Uh, and I'm uh, not at the point in this channel where I want to uh, purchase them off eBay for inflated prices. So uh, one day I will eventually do a comparison, probably when I get the Masterverse uh, Cyclone. But other than that, I mean, it's a great figure, super happy with them. And I'm looking forward to... Uh, what other surprises Mattel Creations has for the Masters of the Universe Origins line. They're doing a great job with the car cartoon collection. And I finally bit the bullet and purchased my first Turtles of Grayskull figures. Um, I will review those um, probably in the next video. Uh, I just want to get out some old turtle figures so I can do some good comparisons. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, I will see you again on the next video and don't forget to uh, like subscribe and comment if you like my content it keeps me motivated you know i'm a full-time dad and actually you know have a full-time in real life job and so making these videos is a labor of love but i hope you guys enjoy them and they give you some entertainment um, other than that i will talk to you guys next time bye